What is going on guys? This is Simon from SG and today we're gonna go over how to set up Zapier on a WooCommerce store. So the first step would be to download, install, or purchase, download, and install the WooCommerce Zapier, plug in on the WooCommerce store, and then we'll set up our zaps. But first, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit that thumbs up sign, hit that subscribe box, and all the links in this video can be found in the description box below. And yeah, let's get to it. So um, you may be wondering, like, why do I need to plug in for WooCommerce, um, like Zapier? I've just found it's it's easier to have my zaps and it requires me to add like the Zapier feeds to it. So um, some of you guys getting that plugin, I'm just gonna upload the zip file of WooCommerce Zapier and I'm gonna install it and then I'm gonna activate my plugin. So I have WooCommerce Zapier um, activated and now I'm gonna go to um, like Zapier feeds and I need to add my first Zapier feed Excuse me. So, um, like here are the triggers, you know, new order, new customer, order status change, and then they have like the subscription statuses. So I think especially for like, if you're on like WooCommerce subscriptions, this is really beneficial or really whatever use case you have of using WooCommerce app here. So we have this set up and now I need to go um, create my Zap. So I'm gonna log in and Sorry, refresh that again. Um, cool, cool, cool. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to go to my zaps and I am going to create a new zap. And right here, let's make a zap. And I'm gonna go WooCommerce. When this happens in WooCommerce, I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna say, when I have a new, um, for this sake, let's just say when I have a new subscription created, I'm gonna go continue. And then this is the webhook URL that I need to grab. So I'm gonna just copy it, right? It told me to copy it. And I'm gonna go back to WooCommerce and I'm gonna paste this, okay? And I'm just gonna say, you know, new subscription order. Um, I'm just gonna name it like that and I'm gonna publish it. And as you, I want to do subscription created, not just new order. And I'm gonna click update. Awesome. So I'm actually gonna go dual screen action here. Um, I'm just gonna bring this over and I'm gonna bring the zap over. Just cause I think it's, it's easier just to kind of see what's all going on. Um, and I'm gonna click continue. And now um, it's gonna try to find data. So it's gonna pull in some samples. And did it pull in any samples, find data? And so it pulled in these samples and these are gonna be key later on, but it's pulling in these samples where I can like click the sample and be like, okay, I'm gonna use this sample, um, the sample order. So I'm gonna use this one and we're gonna continue. Okay, and I want to, um, you know, some people might want to create like an invoice, like in Zoho Books, FreshBooks, QuickBooks, whatever you want. For this case, I am just going to do um, something in Google Sheets, just something simple, but know that those options are there. So I'm gonna say Google Sheets. I want to create, uh, let's say I want to create a worksheet every time a subscription happens, just to identify each, cus each customer will have its own spreadsheet. Um, bear with me, this is just a test. So I'm gonna sign in. It's required me to sign in. And I'm gonna sign in. I'm gonna allow. Sweet, so I'm gonna create a new sheet. And um, I'm gonna say, just I'm gonna create in my Google Drive. And the spreadsheet. Um, let's just go to, where do you want to go to? I'm just going to go to events. Just going to create one. And I'm going to name the title, um, the email address. And um, 
I can go and add all my headers if I want to. Um, but anyways, as you guys see, I'm just gonna do first and last name of my customer and I'm gonna just choose yes to overwrite just as an example. And I want to test and continue. So I realize it's a little unorthodox of a Google Sheet to do with WooCommerce subscriptions, but um, I just wanted to test it. It said that it did, a test worksheet was sent to Google Sheets. So I'm just gonna open up sheets.google and just look at, just look at this uh, example. So I believe this was under the events. And if I look here, there was a new worksheet created with um, the first and last name that I identified um, right here, right? And then the title was, you know, this, the email address of my customer that went on a subscription with Commerce. So this is just an example of how you can use uh, Zapier with your WooCommerce store. Again, there's like a couple different like triggers you can do, a couple different options, um, specifically like new customer, new order, subscription created, new order status changed, new line item in order, subscription renewals might be big. You wanna trigger like another email to send out, might wanna use like WooCommerce follow-ups plugin. Um, maybe the subscription status changed to like failed. So then you might wanna fire something out or try to recover the customer. Anyways, you guys get the picture. Um, Zapier with WooCommerce is really nice tool to have and Zapier in general just automates a lot of stuff. So um, once again, you can find everything in the subscription box below. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Um, and yeah, comment what video you wanna see next. Um, I'm trying to get back on the video train and do like a, one video a week. And, you know, some weeks I do like three videos a week and then, you know, you get those couple weeks where you just don't have time to do any. So it's always, I'm always trying to make time to do them and all your guys' comments are awesome to hear. So um, with that, enjoy the rest of your day and go get it. Awesome, thanks guys, peace.